hello and welcome to my channel today I'll be showing you how to make scotch eggs this is really simple you don't need a lot of ingredients and it doesn't even take time So first you need one cup of breadcrumbs, you can find this at any grocery store but I made this myself, it's really easy to make. You will need one cup of all-purpose flour. You will also need a pair of food preparation gloves. You can use your bare hands, but I prefer using gloves for this. You will need 8 eggs. You will be boiling just 6 and you will be using the other 2 as egg wash. And finally you need breakfast sausage. You can use any sausage you like. I prefer this. Actually, this is my favorite sausage. So you can use your favorite sausage also. So the first step, you set your frying oil on the stove on medium heat. You just want the oil to get to about 300 150 Fahrenheit so not too hot just okay and then you set out all your ingredients in preparation to start rolling your eggs so this is not shown but I already boiled my eggs took off the shell and it's ready to go So the first step is to take some of the sausage, flatten it out on your palm and cover the egg entirely with the sausage. After that is done, you um, roll that on the flour and you just keep rolling until you're sure the sausage stays together. The sausage has to stay together because if you fry it and it breaks apart, that won't be good. So you really want the sausage to just stay together and that's the purpose of the flour. So you just keep rolling and rolling and rolling until you're sure the sausage is definitely going to stay together. And you dip that into the egg wash and you cover that with breadcrumbs. I like to double dip my scotch egg so I'm going to dip that again into the egg wash and then cover it again in breadcrumbs. So this is me dipping the second time. And covering in breadcrumbs again. Now this is ready to go into the frying oil. Please don't use your hands when doing this because the oil was really hot. And then this has to be in the oil for about 7 to 10 minutes depending on what you want or how brown you want it. I wanted mine to be really crispy on the outside so I let it go for 10 minutes. At this point it's ready but I just let it stay in there for just a little bit more.
and that's it that's the end of the video please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos thanks for watching see you on the next one